Alexis Strive right here. I wanted to go over how to data log, how to effectively data log using your call access port on a Mark 7 GTI and a Mark 7 Golf R. So by this point, you have your access port already installed and uh, make sure that it's turned on. It's coming up uh, up here. Make sure obviously your, your car is up to operating temperature. Um, you know, uh, having AC or no AC on, it doesn't matter. The, the car actually shuts it off when it goes into wide open throttle. But uh, it's good for, for the oil to be relatively warm and the car to be up to operating temp. So the access port has come on here. Now this is the, um, this menu is where you'd want to press uh, the start data logging button and actually to to commence your data log but let's back out of it for a second and just overview some of the other quick features so this is the main menu of the access port as you know here you can check your fault codes here you can uh, change the tune of course with the car being off um, and the ignition being on but uh, the data logging does all happen in this menu and this menu here when it's showing you gauges like this uh, then it is ready to data log if I hit this button here the center button you'll see that it'll start data logging. When you see that scrolling um, blue light there, that means that it is actually data logging. Before you actually do your data log, you want to make sure that your parameters are set up correctly. So we send you a list of parameters and you go into this menu up here and you go under uh, configure data logging right there. And then the highlighted uh, parameters, the ones that have the green uh, the green dot are the ones that are going to be data logged. So make sure that you data log the exact parameters that we ask you to do. So go back out to here and now you're you're prepped for data logging and also you can change the parameters that you're live viewing. If you run out of uh, basically bandwidth, uh, there is a fixed number of parameters that we can, we can data log, then this may give you an error. So make sure that you're data logging uh, and viewing the same subset of parameters so that you're not viewing uh, parameters that you're not data logging. In other words, if you run, if you get that error of, uh, of too many parameters being logged. So now finally, uh, you have your access port all ready to, uh, to data log. Uh, when you're data logging, especially with DSG transmissions, it's a little bit trickier. So what I recommend is that I recommend that you are in, in manual mode. So I'll just push over the DSG lever and then you'll see here your gear being displayed uh, at the very uh, top right corner of the display. You can see that it's, it's one there. Uh, we ask that you start in most of the time gear three is, is perfectly sufficient. Um, and, uh, and of course you want to start at 2000 RPM. So you're gonna go out on the road or stationary here and then you're going to um, shift the transmission manually uh, and then get to gear three get up to about 2000 rpm and then go wide open throttle there is one other aspect of going wide open throttle here so that is important to to note so you can see here i'm just going to shut the car off so i can demonstrate this so right here uh, the accelerator pedal has what I call a detent. And what that means is that you can press it down and then there's a switch. You can kind of hear that perhaps uh, and you can certainly see it. So if you stop all the way at the switch, that is wide open throttle. If you go past this detent there, uh, then that actually kicks the transmission down. It's a safety feature just in case you're in the wrong gear in manual mode. It'll kick the transmission down to the lowest gear. So if you're in third gear at 2000 RPM, it'll kick you down to second gear and you don't want that for a day log. So just make sure when, you, when we ask you for a wide open throttle pull, you're in manual mode, you select the gear three, you're at 2000 RPM and you just put the pedal down and you stop at the heat end. Do not go past this switch point there. So hopefully that clarifies how to data log. Um, once, once you're done, so one more thing that you want to do is that uh, once you're done data logging, then press the stop button to actually stop and record our data log and, uh, and send it to us for analysis. So hope this clarifies things a little bit. We'll talk to you soon.